I'm obsessed and all oh mine. <laughs> Oh, welcome back to watching Nelly doing things. I am back to talk about something really, really fun and very cute. It is the ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire collab. I did get a good amount of goodies from this collection, guys. I was, <laughs> I was ecstatic. I love Lizzie McGuire. I actually grew up watching her and I'm just like, the first time I ever seen this, I was like, I need all of it or most of it because this is just my childhood right here too this is another childhood reminder if you guys can see i had another video lisa frank that was like childhood big time as well this is the vibe of my childhood so i can't wait to get into all these goodies but before i jump all the way into it don't forget to like subscribe to my channel which is nelly doing things and also don't forget to leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there so let's just get right on into these because i cannot wait to talk about these all right, y'all, so we're gonna take it back to the early 2000s today, and I'm so excited because this is just perfect. So of course, like before, I'm gonna talk about packaging because we gotta get into all this packaging. First, I'm gonna talk about is the gorgeous What Dreams Are Made Of palette. So this is the Lizzie and ColourPop collab. This actually is so cute. It has a Lizzie right here in the front on the left side. The packaging looks like tie-dye blue jean, like a bleached blue jean like jacket and it's tie-dye. We did that all the time in the 2000s guys. I'm like still obsessed because I said I had a lot of different clothes that had this kind of design. So I'm like this is insane and I'm like, this is definitely childhood. Very, very much early 2000s Disney childhood. Like it's, it, y'all, okay, I'm gonna get into it real quick. So you guys, that's one thing I loved about her cartoon. She had those little slides, those thick slides on. I had a black pair. So y'all, say in the comments below, give me a thumbs up or like a cute little flower emoji down below if you guys had either these shoes, these kind of chokers, if you had these kind of barrettes in your head. Oh, if you had crimped hair, <laughs> you had crimped hair or like the two ponytails on one side and then like coming up and then having like headbands. Oh, I remember too. Two ponytails in the front and your hair laid back and then you had like two headbands, but they were like straight thin headbands with like pink and green, purple and pink, you know, it was all those kind of colors. So, so leave a flower emoji in the comments below guys, if you actually did wear all of those things, all of them or some of them, cause I know most of them are more that. Anyways, back to the palette. This palette is so cute cause it has a little Disney up there, Lizzie. And I like that they have her sitting there on the side just chilling. And on the back they have, of course, the names. And this is so cute. The names are just very, <laughs> very, very, <laughs> This is very, very nostalgic. And this is a pressed powder palette. But I believe from 15 to $20 this retail. It does have Lizzie right there chilling right in the front. It's so, so cute. She's just thinking and dreaming and brainstorming. And I love it. This is so nostalgic. And it's cute. I forgot even Lizzie in the back. She's like a dormant kind of pose. I remember that pose so much on this episode. So cute. So when you open the palette, you do get a nice size little mirror. And then you do get Lizzie chilling on the side with some flowers, a little flower at the top too. And then you have all of these pretty, pretty pastel shades. They're so, so cute, very soft, but then they do have pops of color in there, but I'm not gonna get all the way into that yet, so we're gonna wait for later. Next I'm gonna talk about is actually the Bubblegum Pop Lip Scrub. So this packaging is cute. It does have like a little flower at the tip of the top, saying Bubblegum Pop, and does have Lizzie looking at herself in the mirror. Yes, we still do that to this day. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, this is so cute. Inside the packaging as well, it's like bright yellow with flowers. So cute. And then the lip scrub, I love the packaging of this. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. It's like a cute hot pink container and it does have Lizzie again, looking at herself in the mirror with flowers right there. It's so freaking cute. To me, the palette, the scrub, I was like, mm, ah, packaging already got me. I was like, this is adorable. So I love that. This retailed, I wanna say between that nine to $15. And last but not least, we're gonna be talking about is <laughs> The plumping lip gloss sets. I did get both. I remember both of these do retail for eighteen dollars. And then, yeah, a little, little bit pricey up there, ColourPop. Okay, but the packaging is so cute and adorable. Again, we have the yellow flowers and the rainbow tie dye. It has Lizzie chilling out right there. So this set is actually called Dear Diary. They have Lizzie right here, and they have Miranda right there. I was like, oh, the name 
picture after them. I was so hyped. Oh my God. I was a Miranda stan. I like Lizzie, but I was like, I love Miranda. She was more like rough. To me, she was more a little tough, a little more outspoken. I, I like Miranda. She was my favorite. These are the typical, it's kind of like they're juicy lip glosses, but these are plumping guys. So it's a little different. So they do have the Lizzie one is clear and the pinky one is Miranda. They do have the cute little flowers. I think she's looking at the mirror again. Yep. She's looking at herself in the mirror again on the packaging. It's just so cute. And then on the back in a white little sticker, it says Lizzie and Miranda. So. And then the last set to talk about is <laughs> Ethan Kraft and Gordo. Oh my God, if y'all don't know. <laughs> about to tell y'all, Gordo, I had a crush on him. I thought he was cute. I was like, I like this little nerd boy. He's cute. <laughs> if I was Lizzie, I would have got Gordo, but I understand the friend thing, especially when you're that young back when. You're like, ew, no, or no, he's just my friend. No, chill out. Ethan Kraft was cute, but he was stupid. But anyways, this one is called Seriously Cool. So they do have Ethan Kraft right here and they have Gordo right here. So this packaging is pretty much the same, just the different shades and the glosses. So the kind of corally pinky one, that one is Ethan Kraft and the purple one is Gordo. So those are cute, very, very cute. And again, Lizzie's looking at herself in a mirror. So these packaging is so cute, so much flower and glitters and sparkles. Just wanted to talk about those, the packaging, because the packaging really got me too. I was like, this is really freaking cute. It better be cute. Because I was like, the packaging alone was getting me and it's just so nostalgic. I was like, you guys are getting me. You guys are definitely getting me. And if you guys want to get this fun, playful, early 2000s kind of vibe, and look, stay tuned.
hope you enjoyed the tutorial and all the demos, cause I sure did. So let's get back into this palette. So this whole palette gives you 12 pretty cute little shades. I wanna say that's four straight up mattes. And then they give you two that are matte with pinpoint glitter in it. Then they give you one, two, three, four, five shimmers. And then they give you one, it looks like a glitter shimmer mixture. It's an interesting color. I'm gonna start off with the top row. My favorite in the top row is actually going to be Hully. I love that one. That one I did put on top of another color to add the extra sparkle. That's that one that's a mixture of shimmer and glitter. I do like that a lot. At first I was like, is that a pressed glitter? I think it may be a pressed glitter, but I'm like, it's nice though. I ain't gonna lie, ColourPop kinda did that, it's nice. Second row we have Audi. That one's really, really cute, that pink one. I put that one on first and then I put the police on top. So that's that middle shade of mine that has an extra little sparkle and dimension. Layered on each other, they're really, really pretty. I did use that in the middle of my eye, that nice shimmery purple. It did highlight underneath, but not look too much. It's still very a cool tone purple. And then last but not least is the last row. This one, don't freak. So mature, outfit repeater. Oh, I remember that, outfit repeater, I remember that. And then digital beam. Everything was digital in the early 2000s. Everything, digital, zoom, zing, zoom, all that kind of stuff. So this whole row is fantastic. Cause I was obsessed. I was like, this whole row is gonna get me together, period. Cause at first when I looked at this palette, I said, mm, it looks good, but I was like, ah, I don't know, we see these shades before ColourPop, I don't know. But I really did love this one, it's funny, when I first watched it, this Don't Freak green one, I said, mm, it's a little dry, not so pigmented. But on the eye, it does add that nice, cute little pop of color in that dimension. I was like, Ooh. I was like, that one's a tricky one. This is a tricky one. On your finger, it doesn't swatch as good, but on a brush and right on your eyes, it does swatch very, very well. And then the So Mature, that one is the lighter one out of this whole bottom row that is really nice still, but it's not my favorite out the row, but it's still good. This whole row is really good. So that one's cute. That has that pinpoint, it's kind of like that salmon pinky kind of color. And then we have Outfit Repeater. This one is gorgeous. That's what you see me. I used the pink at first and I kind of blend it out just to smoke it out. Oh, it was so pretty. I was like, it was effortless and I was like, and it's so pigmented and then it does have those pinpoints of shimmer in it too. I love that. And of course, last but not least is Digital Bean. Y'all, this is my favorite shade in the whole palette. I thought I would like the pinky salmon and the shimmers up there a little more, but Digital Bean, it is an interesting color. I swear, I was like, is it just matte? But I think it has like a plush look to it. I don't know what, I don't know, maybe my eyes tripping with me. But I swear when I put it over that pink, it just melts into it. And it's like satin. It's like a satin finish over that color. I don't know what they did to do that. I don't know. But I love it. Keep doing that. Keep making purples like that and every color like that. This palette had a lot of good hits. I felt like majority of this palette, it looks like kind of like, mm, kind of seen it before. Okay, yeah, sure. But it does really hit that aesthetic. Cause look at this eye. And this was so easy to do. It was way too easy to get this look. And I was like, see, I need to create a lot more looks. I'm obsessed. She's cute, very nostalgic, but then it is very pigmented. Not all the shades are extremely pigmented, but majority of them are. Layering with these shadows are very, very good. I've noticed that. Audi and Police, those two, those pinky salmon kind of gold colors very beautiful on each other. So I realized you can layer things on each other, especially the different dimensions. It's like, that worked really, really well with this palette. So I'm quite pleased with this palette. And next, we're gonna talk about is the Bubblegum Pop Lip Scrub. Y'all, this lip scrub, like I said, the packaging is adorable. And also, like I said earlier, this is still a lot bigger than I thought. I've never tried ColourPop's Lip Scrubs before, so this was really a first impression. This smells like straight up bubblegum yum yum. That bubblegum is probably real on their website. I don't know if, if this is edible, but it tastes like sugar and I ate it, so. Because it smells so good. It smells like straight up bubblegum. Oh, uh, and then it actually legitly has sugars in it, and I'm like, mm, that's very tempting. But I'm like, it's so great. A little bit goes a long way. As you guys see, I just took a little bit on my finger and that was a little too much. It is very oily and the chunks of sugar is a little, they're not big, but they're like medium size and you can break it down on your lips. And my lips do feel a lot smoother underneath this gloss. So it did its job and it smells good. And you get a lot more than you think because this thing is huge, especially if you're only using that teensy bit. This is definitely stand with me. 
Of course, <laughs> last but not least, we're gonna talk about is the plumpy lip glosses. So I'm gonna start with, of course, the Lizzie set because we got to, it's Lizzie, it's about her. So with these two glosses, y'all, I had to admit, I knew these were the plumping, kind of like the juicy, so juicy lip gloss they had before. Again, I don't know what it is with me and plumping glosses. I never read the fine print, apparently, and I always find out later. And I got these and it said plumping lip gloss on the back and I said, mm, well, we're gonna see how this goes. Cause if you guys have seen in previous channels, I tried the elf plumping thing and it's just like, that's extreme. But this didn't hurt whatsoever. I just feel the minty sensation out of it. It's really nice. They have that juicy, syrupy kind of feel. This is very much early 2000s feel lip gloss. This is their Juicy's lip gloss are very nostalgic to early 2000s. I've wore lip glosses like this when I was younger all the time. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like craft glitter in it. I hope it's not, but it does look like it's just craft glitter in it. And it's very, very nostalgic how I probably wore lip gloss back then, didn't have no clue. Probably is, it seems quite accurate. And also too guys, these smell like bubble gum as well. So if you don't like sweet smells or too much bubble gum, you know, like smell bubble gum or sweet, chewy kind of candy scents. You probably not gonna like this collection, especially for things for the lip. Nice and smooth. I don't feel the glitters on my lips, so apparently they're not craft glitter. Oh, yeah, they're not. Yeah, I know this one, I was like, it's just gonna be clear. It's gonna be clear with a little gold, little gold in it. It's gonna be clear with a little shimmer in it, girl. And it is, it's still cute though, and it's Lizzie. And then the Miranda one, this one is a very pinky, yeah, like a pinky gloss with purple blue shimmer in it. It's very cute, very nostalgic. I believe I did have a gloss like this when I was younger. So I was like, I love it. I did put her back on. So I got Miranda on right now. But like her shimmer glitter in this lip gloss, it pops out more on the lips and I like that. So we wanna see something. Yeah, this is so pretty on the lips, y'all. Uh, and the last but not least, this is, I call it the boy set. <laughs> the boy set, but of course, seriously cool set. So this is the one with Ethan Craft and Gordo. <laughs> These two. So Ethan Kraft is kind of like a corally pink and he does have all kinds of shimmers in there. Yeah, I think he has the same like gold, goldish blue, purple kind of shimmer glitter in it. Gordo's is purplish and he does have more blue shimmer in his lip gloss. This is very cute to do the boys and then do the girls. I wonder why they decided to do that. That's so adorable. But I think out of the two, crazy enough, realistically, I would wear actually Ethan Kraft. I think I like the pinky corally vibes with this whole collection lip wise because I feel like these looked better on the lips even though it still doesn't show color but I feel like the shimmers popped up more with this one. Maybe it's my tone on my lips and my skin I don't know but I feel like this just popped better so the Miranda Ethan Kraft are my favorite. Of course I'm gonna love the Gordo one because it's still purple though. So guys, overall, I did enjoy this whole collection. I hope they still come out with more Disney things that came out in the early 2000s kind of inspiration because I'm into what I said. Give me more, give me my childhood. Give it, give it back, give it, because I love it. This was just so nostalgic and cute. I feel like some things were priced a little too much, like the lip gloss sets. To me, the lip gloss sets were just, that was, that was too expensive. I feel like 18, 18, that's a lot. You know, I know we all grown now that watch Lizzie, but that's still my money, you know? Cause I still feel like these are just their juicy glosses with a tint added, but the tint really can't see. And then it's, it's like glitter, but it looks like crap glitter. To me, it was just like, y'all, these are all clear with different versions of glitter in it. But you know, to me, that was just too expensive for just two pairs. Even though I know the collab and the brand on it, I know. But to me, the lip glosses again, that was too much, the duo. The lip scrub is a very good price, very affordable. You do get a lot and it does smell amazing. I like that scent over the glosses. I don't know how, or I don't know why, but yeah, anyways. But the bubblegum pop lippy scrub is very, very good. And I'm glad that I finally introduced to their lippy scrubs because I was like, that is very, very nice. So the feeling of it, the scent of it, what it did, it was really, really nice. Now, of course, the What the Dreams Are Made Of palette, this one surprised me a little bit because I was thinking, I said, those colors look, I don't know, are they gonna be washed out or whatever? But they actually came out really, really cute. And they actually created a very nostalgic look to my eyes. And I was like, this is, uh, these are just great colors to play around with. And I know a lot of people are into the vibe of early like Y2K kind of vibes now, especially on Instagram, they like all those kind of early 2000s looks. 
So I think if you like that aesthetic, you're gonna love this palette. You're gonna love probably this whole collection, especially if that's your vibe. Or if you've still been dressing like that since then, I mean, hey, I ain't knocking it, because it's still cute. Again, collection was fun. It took me back to my childhood a little bit. So guys, and thank you for watching me, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And also don't forget to leave a comment below. You guys already know I'm about to ask y'all again. Put a flower emoji down below if you guys had any of those items I said in the beginning of the video. And also, if you just like this whole aesthetic, do you like Lizzie McGuire? Do you remember Lizzie McGuire? Did you watch Lizzie McGuire? Let me know all that in the comments below, guys. And don't forget to hit the notification button before you leave. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Bye.